Welcome back to Simple Pure Whole Wellness. Today I'm bringing you a video to help celebrate Earth Month by helping you breathe easier naturally in your home with six ways to purify the air. Most of us spend the majority of our time indoors at work or at home. In fact, research indicates that people spend approximately 90% of their time indoors. Unfortunately, a growing body of scientific evidence has indicated that the air within homes and other buildings can be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air, since pollutants become trapped in the limited space and recirculate repeatedly if you fail to purify the air within your home. Overall, the World Health Organization estimates that 92% of the world's population lives in places where air quality levels exceed safe levels. A toxic environment is responsible for at least one of every four deaths worldwide, with air pollution being a major contributing risk. Clean air is essential for healthy lungs, respiration, metabolism, and more. Poor indoor air quality has been linked to short-term health effects like headaches and fatigue, as well as chronic conditions like asthma and cardiovascular disease. Given these concerns, the EPA ranks indoor air pollution as one of the top five environmental risks to public health and suggests taking actions to purify the air within your home. In addition to outdoor pollutants that get trapped inside, indoor air can be contaminated from things like fragrances and perfumes, paints and solvents, aerosol sprays, cleaning agents and disinfectants, air fresheners, pesticides, fuels, dry cleaning chemicals, building materials, copier fluids and printing inks, glues and adhesives, and other chemical containing agents which emit petroleum-based odorous substances known as VOCs or volatile organic compounds. If you're ready to breathe easier, try these six ways to naturally purify the air in your home. One of the most effective ways to protect your family and purify the air in your home is to invest in a high-quality HEPA purifier. Air filters act like sieves to ensnare contaminants and remove them from the air inside of your home. HEPA filters will trap 99.97% of normal dust particles that are at least 0.3 micrometers or larger. I'll provide some links in the information box below so you can read more about the air purifiers I use in my home and office which remove pet dander, volatile organic compounds, odors, dusts, and many other indoor air contaminants. I also link to a, my guide for purchasing a high quality portable air purifier to help you figure out which one will work best for your needs. Other strategies that will help keep the air in your home clean is to replace your HVAC filter with a HEPA re rated replacement filter. You can also use a HEPA equipped vacuum cleaner and use it frequently to keep dust at bay. This next strategy is economical and also gives you the added benefit of adding more nature into your home environment. Many plants are capable of absorbing several types of common toxicants and removing them from the air. Select organically grown, air purifying plants. Some of the top plants for purifying the indoor air in your home naturally include aloe vera, spider plants, lady palm, dwarf date palms, peace lily, ficus, English ivy, Boston firm, and bamboo palm. Note that some plants are toxic to pets and small children, so be careful and always check with your vet before placing any plants in your home. Another natural way to absorb toxicants and naturally purify your indoor air is with activated charcoal. This is an odorless, highly absorptive substance which is made from various compounds like bamboo, wood, or coconut shells. You can reactivate and recharge the charcoal in the sun for a few hours on a monthly basis to reuse it and compost it once it reaches the limit of its life cycle, so it's eco-friendly as well. A study by the U.S. Department of Energy found that filters using activated carbon remove 60 to 70 percent of ozone from air compared to those without charcoal. In another study, activated carbon filters were found to be capable of removing up to 80 percent of volatile organic compounds and up to 30 percent of formaldehyde, a common air pollutant given off by fabrics and furniture. 
One of the easiest but most powerful strategies for keeping your home clean is removing your shoes at the door. Shoes can carry coal tar, pesticides, fungal spores, lead dust, pollen, industrial toxins, and other irritants from outdoors into your home where they can recirculate in your indoor air. Studies show that placing an effective doormat to clean the bottom of your shoes before entry or removing outdoor shoes when entering the house can significantly reduce the number of contaminants tracked inside. Place a shoe rack at your door and get into the habit of always removing your outdoor shoes before entering your home. Enact a no outdoor shoes in the house policy and keep reusable washable shoe covers at the door for guests. Another important consideration when looking at your indoor air is radon. Radon is an invisible, odorless, radioactive gas which is produced by the decay of naturally occurring uranium in soil and water. Radon is the number one cause of cancer among non-smokers, contributing to around 21,000 lung cancer deaths every year. Some areas of the country and world have more naturally occurring deposits than others, although radon can be found all over the United States. At the link in the information box below, you'll find some resources to help you evaluate the risk of radon in your home. Since you can't see or smell radon, you need to test your home with a simple home test kit. There are commercially available do-it-yourself test kits for both short and long-term testing, or you can hire a qualified tester to do the testing for you. My final strategy is to make sure your appliances are running smoothly. Poorly maintained appliances like your furnace, space heater, hot water heater, natural gas heater, dryer, or stove, and other fuel burning appliances can leak carbon dioxide or nitrogen dioxide, which pollute the air inside of your home. To reduce your exposure risk, have your appliances services per the manufacturer's recommendations to reduce the potential for indoor air pollution and maintain safe function. I hope you find these six ways to naturally purify the air within your home valuable and that they'll help you and your family breathe a little bit easier. I'll link additional resources and information in the information box below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed these strategies, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Simple Pure Whole Wellness.